All right, what's up? It's your boy Kegofari, and I have two passive money-making methods here today. Now, passive meaning that you can do them while you're doing other money-making methods or while you're grinding something else. It's free money, so you might as well do them. Okay, so if we go to the bazaar, like this, we can go to Mithril. Now, it costs 160 enchanted Mithril to make one refined Mithril in the forge. So if we buy... Now, I have four forge slots. You unlock two at Heart of the Mountain 2, and then each level you progress, you get one more. So I have four right now. So if we go to the bazaar, buy enough mithril for four refined mithril, which is 640 enchanted, then that is 2.4 mil right there. So we can create the buy offer there. Now, if you're already mining, then you might already have enchanted mithril, so that's even better for you. Okay, so as you can see, my 640 enchanted mithril was filled. So we go to bazaar right here, and then we can collect this like so. And then we can go to slot 1, refine ore, and then refine mithril, and then confirm. Now it will take 6 hours as you can see, so we can do this for every single slot here. Okay, so there we have it. In 6 hours this will all be done. Now there is actually a Heart of the Mountain upgrade. It's called Quick Forge on the right side of the upgrade tree, and this one will decrease your forge time. So once these are done, I'll collect them and then sell them on the bazaar. But for now, as you can see, I already have 4 refined mithril from a previous forge, and I sold this one here at 899 coins per piece. Now this is a bit more expensive than it might be. Prices are pretty high right now. So, But even if this does drop, that will still be a decent amount of coins. So if I collect this here, that is 3.5 mil, whereas we only had to pay 2.4 mil for the actual mithril. So that's right there, 1.1 mil, just from what are we doing nothing but using the forge. Now another option you could go with is the refined diamond. This is also another easy forge. Right now the profits aren't as high and they take a little longer to forge. You can always check on both of those to see which one will make you the most money. Okay, so for the second method, we want to go to the auction house, and we can either search up a Raider's Axe or an AOTE. Now I'm going to be using a Raider's Axe so it's a little better. We can sort by a lowest price and then buy the cheapest one. Right now it's about 150k. Now right now the bazaar is temporarily disabled, but it's fine because I just bought another Raider's Axe here. So when you're mining or you're like killing goblins, you'll notice that you get a ton of experience orbs, which is the XP levels. So while we're getting levels from mining, we can enchant it and then resell it at a higher price. So the way experience experience orbs work is that the higher the level you are, the longer it will take to level up. For example, as you can see, I'm level 118. So if I'm mining like this, you can see the experience bar go up very slowly. Okay, but with my levels, I am now going to do slash ET. This is a booster cookie commander that can open up the enchanting table. If you don't have a booster cookie, I recommend you get one because they're super helpful. But if we put the Raider's Axe in here and we can do an enchant, so if we put critical here, that costs 50 levels and then giant killer. 50 levels. Okay, so now we are at level 18. So now you'll notice as I'm mining, I'm getting experience orbs much faster. See how we level up? It takes like two blocks to level up. So we want to use this to our advantage. So as soon as you get enough levels to put an enchant on the axe, you want to do slash ET and then enchant it and then resume mining or goblin killing or whatever you're doing at the moment. And then once you max out the axe, you can put it on the auction house and this will sell for 500k about. Now both these methods are especially good because you can combine them with other money making methods and then just become extremely rich. So yeah, that's about it. But anyways, I hope that helped. If you did find this helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, I am starting a Discord server, so the link for that is below. I won't be doing too much with it, but there will be some exclusive money-making methods there, so feel free to join. Also, we'll probably be playing like Bedwars there too, just some casual stuff. It'll be fun, so thanks again. See you guys later.